Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Big Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good uh, Wednesday. <laughs> oh, it's it's been okay here. Um, I had my pre-op appointments yesterday morning, early in the morning. I don't know why they did that to me, but um, there was a lot of mis miscommunication going on. I was there at 7.30 in the morning, and uh, apparently all I had to do in urology was give a urine sample, but they didn't tell me that. They didn't tell me all I had to do was give a urine sample and then leave that department and go on and do the rest of the pre-op stuff. And unfortunately, I drank almost a whole bottle of water and it took me a long time to be able to go give that urine sample uh, because of the whole kidney stones in both kidneys and stents in both kidneys and it just, uh, it's, I mean, it's not something you can do on command. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> not to mention it hurts every time I go. And, um, uh, makes me near about lose my religion. You know what I mean? Those of you that are not in the South and maybe don't understand that term. Um, in, in the South, we had this term called lose your religion. mean Meaning that you might shout out some, um, colorful language. <laughs> <laughs> and um, as Christian and, and, and faithful to Jesus that I, as I am, I have been known to spout out the, the, the odd colorful language. <laughs> I'm not above that, okay? Uh, I, I, I'm afraid I'm, I'm flawed and I'm human. And when I'm in pain, those kind of words do come out my mouth. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so, you know, it, it is what it is. But, uh, and, uh, I'm afraid I hadn't got a whole lot of crocheting done. Um, I did finish, um, now let me stand up and get it from behind me. Oh, oh and then a pillow decides to get right underneath me. Oh, okay. This, this $30 from Goodwill comfy chair is comfy only because I have these two little pillows <laughs> that I could put on either side of me. Because I'm not as big as I used to be. <laughs> oh, I weighed myself this morning. There's a new figure. 285. <laughs> oh my goodness. 285. I hadn't seen 285. Since I was in my late 20s maybe. Somewhere in my mid 20s. I don't remember. I don't remember when the last time I weighed that. I don't remember. But wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway. <laughs> hot diggity dog. <laughs> That's all I can say is hot diggity dog. Let me get over this kidney stone thing and then I'm I'm raring to go, y'all. <laughs> I'm raring to be fit and happy. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I did manage to get this, uh, here, Granny Square Blanket finished. Um, I did measure it, and it's just a little too big for the Boggy Creek kids. Uh, but that's okay. It's not like I'm not going to make other blankets for the Boggy Creek kids, uh, this year. But, um, I did manage to get this one finished. Um, uh, so I guess I'll just, uh. It'll just, I'll just swap them out every so often for the chair, you know, the back of the chair. And then I got to wash it though, cause dog care. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep this one. Cause I like it. I like the gemstone colors and I like the way that it pops, you know, really pretty. It turned out real pretty. Well, running out of places. Ugh. <sighs> I did manage to get out and go to Hobby Lobby today to get cotton. I got enough acrylic, but I don't, I, I usually, um, at least the plan is to swap my yarnscape, as I like to call it. <laughs> my yarnscape from back, back here from acrylic to, um, cotton. Cause I have some, I have some, uh, Premier, uh, Momente cakes that are cotton, mostly cotton. And then I have some other um, 
cotton yarn. Uh, I have some other Hobby Lobby cotton too, but I wanted mostly cotton to be in my background this year. So I've got to, maybe I'll fill up to doing that tomorrow or Saturday, maybe, maybe Saturday. Oh, excuse me. But uh, I, I was, uh, me and my buddy uh, in Canada, Serena, we have this arrangement. She sends, she sends, she don't have uh, Hobby Lobby in Canada. And um, so she wanted, of course, I was doing the mystery bags. And thank you, Juan, the yarn addict. God bless you. When he bought the two uh, mystery bags from me and opened them up on his channel. And then I had six left. And then, boom, six went like that. And so, yes, we got those sent out yesterday um, to the, you know, folks that bought those. So, I really appreciate him doing that. Because um, they, they weren't, you know, selling. And then he'd opened his and, and he linked me in his description and all that. And the next thing I know, my, my mystery bag sold. So, that, I'm very grateful for that. And I got those off because I was able to get done early with the pre-op stuff. Because the next pe per person I saw after... Um, after the urology department was an, was a nurse lady, a pre-op nurse person. And she said, well, you, you did all this stuff last month. And I was like, yeah, I did all that stuff last month. And then I never did get the surgery. And, uh, they just put me on some unknown weight, uh, weight list that never happened. And then, well, anyway, it's a long story, but, um, uh, so she didn't make me go have another blood test or x-ray or EKG. She didn't make me do any of that stuff. Uh, she just marked it done, and uh, they can use last month's results for all that other stuff. So um, I'm grateful for, for that. So that cut my day short. So I came home and um, got all the bags um, taped up and addressed and everything, and then Johnny and I went off to the post office and mailed six bags of yarn uh, off to their new homes. And um, so, and then, of course, I came back and um, ate and took a nap. Because I was exhausted. <laughs> because unfortunately with this whole kidney stone business. It, I, I don't have like an untapped fountain of uh, energy. I, 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 t I get taxed out real easily. Like right now. I mean my stomach. I made my coffee too strong this morning. <laughs> and it tore my stomach up. And so yeah. And so that wore me out. And, but I did manage to do the Hobby Lobby run. And so I'm sitting here at my feet with uh, my cotton yarn that I bought myself. I did buy Serena some, but I've already bagged her stuff up. And just bought her some, some uh, I bought her a little kitchen cotton. And then some pink, uh, cot uh, I love this yarn, this uh, cotton. And some variegated. Um, so not a lot, but just, you know. And then I gave her a couple of my cotton cakes. Because um, I could. <laughs> and then I have a Hershner's order here that I'm also going to share with y'all. It's not a very big Hershner's order, but just some yarn that I had wanted. And then a couple more skeins of something else that I had that, did, that I didn't feel I had enough for a project of. But um, uh, I don't know. I know that a lot of y'all know that turquoise is my favorite color. Um, and used to, my whole background was covered in turquoise yarn. <laughs> but... Uh, it was pointed out by not so not very few people. A lot of people pointed out, you, you know, that your, all your background yarn is, is is turquoise. And so, after many people pointed that out, I just started diversifying the background of my yarn. You know, the my my yarnscape started getting more diversified with different colors of yarn. And so, um, <laughs> but I don't only love turquoise yarn. I also love the color red. So. Um, <laughs> So I got me some some I love this cotton in red and it's not not any any uh fancy red just red uh but I'll read you the specs of this yarn it's 3.5 ounces 100 grams 180 yards 165 meters it is 100% cotton it's a four weight they recommend a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and knitting needle uh now this normally retails for 3.99 um, it's 30% off week, so I got it for $2.79, and, um, it's a real pretty red, and I got many of these, I'm just gonna lay them on top of this other box over here, because I just have a bag, I think I got, like, four or six, I don't remember how many I got, 
It looks like I got six of those. Because even though I've shrunk in size, my brain still thinks I'm 415. <laughs> I may have lost 130 pounds, but my brain still hadn't figured that out. And so I still end up buying more. I, I still buy yarn for a, a bigger person. As if I, you know, I, do, I still do. So I don't know why, but I do. And they only had three of this one, but uh, I, I'll this this is a now the uh, print one. This is I love this cotton in the print. It doesn't have as many yards. It only has 153 yards, but the rest of the specs are the same. And this one just says teal. So now we're getting more me. <laughs> but I only got three of this one because that's all that's all they had on on, on hand. But I'll, I'll eventually get some more of this one. But uh, I'll be pairing this with something else. And maybe granny squares for a granny square top or a granny square. I, I really want me a, I want a cotton dress is what I want to make. I want to make a crochet cotton dress is what I want to make. And I will. I just, uh, I had been uh, shopping around for tutorials. And I've seen a couple that I liked. But um, for some reason, I just hadn't been satisfied with what I found. So I think I'm just going to end up having to make something on the fly myself, you know. Not like a pattern pattern, just something that out of my own head. You know, did I just sit and play with the yarn until I come up with something that suits me, you know. And will there be a tutorial? I have no idea. Uh, okay, I just realized I got two different waters here. One is Aquafina, and one is Dasani. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Anyway, and here's another one of the I Love This Yarn print. This one is called Harvest, and I got this one to go with the red. <coughs> mm -mm. Excuse me, y'all. Mm. Uh, and those of you that are new to the channel, I do have a mild case of COPD. So occasionally the phlegm monster comes to visit and I have to cough things, uh, cough. But anyway, I think this, um, I think this goes okay with this. Yeah, I do. I think that goes just fine with that. So I'm not much of a white yarn person, so I didn't get white. I don't, I don't typically buy white. If I end up with white yarn, it's because it was given to me. <laughs> That's just how it is. And so I got four of these all together. And let's see. Then I got this other color in the print. Let's see, what's this called? Brights. So this one has got pinks and yellows and turquoise <laughs> and it's the same uh the 153 yards yeah it's got even got a little bit of orange in there but i thought it would look good with the uh, i have i have more skeins of this but i think that looks good together yeah i got two just two skeins of this uh what do they call this one turquoise <laughs> i have some more of this in a tote back behind you in, a, in another little room but uh yeah i got a couple of but i wasn't sure how many i had in this light tur in this in this so i just got two of these i don't buy just one skein of yarn I, bu I, I, I buy it in twos unless that's all they have or unless it's something i buy um in three i might buy in threes to get it in plastic like if i'm buying from premier yarn I'll buy it in threes to get it in the plastic. And then I bought some more of this yarn that I'm making my little cardigan with. My little, uh, I'll show y'all that in a minute. But this is the Yarn Be Simply Flawless. Now, we talked about, I talked about this at, at, uh, last time I bought some. I bought some in the silver color. Well, the, the color's called Mist, but uh, it's, a, it's silver. But this, is, this color's called Gunmetal. And I just thought, I thought it was a pretty dark gray. And um, it's a four weight. They're calling it a three weight, but let me tell you, 
you can use a six millimeter with this yarn matter of fact i tried using a five millimeter then i tried a 5.5 millimeter and i had to go all the way up to a six yeah but for some reason and i'll show it to you right there it says three right there it's crazy makes zero sense but uh it is a uh, now it doesn't say it on here yeah and there it is it's a hundred percent low peel acrylic is what it says yeah but y'all can see it there but this is a very chunky this is i mean i don't know how they ever called this a three i don't know if they called it a three because it's low peel acrylic or what but um let me show y'all oh hold on i had to get up and get and grab it but there's another yarn i got back here that's also low peel acrylic that is very chunky This is pearl spun, and this is this color is called jade, turquoise, uh, dark teal, and this is low peel uh, fiber. But they classified this one as a four. See, yeah, this one's a four, but so squishy, so soft. This is like a dream on the hook, and it's got a little shine to it. Yeah. You got a little shine to it. Love this stuff. And so, but they don't have it in this color. And th these are really small skeins. These only have 150 yards each. But I got it. I got a bunch of these in this color and a bunch of them in red. I will make me something with it one day. <laughs> I just been hoarding them. I don't know why. You just get that way about some, certain yarns. You just hoard them. But I bought two of the two of this gunmetal, uh, and there's uh, uh, 420 yards per skein. 420 yards per skein, but it's oh, and it it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. This gunmetal one, but the silver one that I bought that I'm doing with the um, the little um, granny stitch uh, granny cluster cardigan is is uh really shiny i'll show you that in just a second i'm gonna throw these back in the bag because i got something in the box that i laid them on and i'm gonna just throw this right back in this bag real quick all right and i'll show you the okay you need to get out of there but uh this is the uh it's work but this is the other one this is the uh color yeah mist but it's very pretty silver and uh this is what i'm working up it with it now it's just a hexagon he hexicardi you know and this is the progress i've got so far so i've got four four in this which should be plenty for you know, I'm I'm thinking crop a cropped uh, hexicardi because I'm just I'm wanting I'm wanting it for a sleeveless dress that I bought. So um, it's just a tank a tank dress, you know, but a nice a nice one, a nice one. Um, and I get thirsty real easy. But there was my Hobby Lobby haul, cotton haul. And I did buy some Hershner's yarn because I was perusing her Hershner's, as you will. Because <laughs> I like Hershner's. They usually have some pretty good buys. And I did get an email about um, shipping being $3.17. I don't remember the code, but it was a short, short time frame. You had to use the code. And so when I get those discounted shipping codes, I go to looking to see if there's anything that I can't live without. <laughs> and so I did find a couple of things that I wanted and um this yarn that uh, Joanne's had for the longest time but it was $12 a skein well I don't know about y'all but um there's only one thing I'll buy for $12 and that's a Karen cake and usually I don't pay full price for Karen cakes I get them on a discount 
and it's very i mean i have to really really have to have it have to be in the middle of a project and need that yarn for me to pay full price for a carrot cake i don't pay full price no way no how uh-uh but um so this yarn i was just gonna live without because um because i wasn't paying 12 dollars a skein for it but it's called burnett Sy symphony and this particular colorway is called sea spray you see a theme here <laughs> anything involved in the sea i even have those little lights those little uh, led lights on a string you see back there they're little sea creatures seashells and turtles and starfish and that sort of thing yeah and they stay on all the time even at night when i'm in bed i don't turn those off i leave them on all the time but yeah this and uh i got how many did i get i got five of these for a blanket of course uh, and this is a five weight yarn. It uh, recommends a 6.5 millimeter hook. Um, it is 7.9 ounces, 225 grams, 309 yards, th uh, 282 meters. It is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And uh, it's got a nice little halo. I think this will either go on that loom over there after I get done with that blanket or it'll just be crocheted up, but it's, uh, it's, it's kind of, a. it, it almost had, it almost looks like it might be roving, but I don't think so. It looks, t it looks really consistent in the, in the thickness, but it looks twisted. It doesn't look exactly plied. It looks more twisted, but it's, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful to me. I have this in another color over there. In a, in, in, in a color called pebbles, I think. But I only have four of them. So, not as many as I do with this one. And, um, but, uh, I, let me see how much I paid for this. Let's see. Sea spray. $5.99 a skein. Sure beats 12 bucks, don't it? <laughs> and then I got two, two more of this uh, Bernat Wavelength. And this, uh, let's see what color is this. Vi Violet turquoise. Shocker. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> but I already, already had four of these. And so I wanted two more for another blanket. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm in a blanket frame of mind. But yes, blanket. Uh, and the thing is, is I probably won't even keep the keep all these blankets i probably would donate them or you know something like that but i just love working I, I like to work with turquoise i just love to look at turquoise it's it's just my thing so uh now this skein is uh five five ounces 140 grams 223 yards and 204 meters it is also a five weight yarn and it recommends a six millimeter crochet hook and needle uh knitting needle so but this is very reminiscent of puzzle now I did have this in I had this in a purple color that I had ordered and I sent that to Juan. <laughs> because I know he likes purple. And it was a dark, dark purple too. A ni nice Abergine color for him. Yeah, but it has purple this this actually has purple accents. So there's gonna be some per a little bit of purple in here. Cause it says uh violet tur turquoise. So that you know that lets you know that there's some some violet in here. So, I'm good with that. But, uh, yes. So, two of those, two of the uh, violet turquoise and then five of the uh, symphonies. So, uh, yep, that was my Hirschner's order. And, uh, showed you the granny square blanket. I hadn't made any more progress with the, um, the loom knitted blanket. Uh, although, I just, all I did was, um, I added another color. I add, I swap, I swap colors and, and added this uh, next color, which is mist. And I went from the antique white to this mist color, which is barely noticeable that it's even a different color. So I just added this, and I think I've done not even a whole row with it yet. So, but I'll get on that. But uh, it's been kind of a rough day. I just uh, had some stomach issues after you know making my coffee a little too strong. Which is, is fine. I hadn't drank I hadn't drank any coffee in a couple of weeks, so um 
I just stubbed my toe when I spooned coffee into the little thing. <laughs> well, Folgers in your cup. <laughs> so I might go over there and snuggle up with my dog and just chill out for a little while. I, I'm hurting a pretty good deal, so I'm going to take a pain pill and lay down for a little bit. Uh, my appetite's kind of non-existent, so I did... I did just eat a can of peaches because I had to eat. I had to put something in my system, and uh, the brat, which is I what how I refer to my stomach, only likes to have uh, fruit in it when I don't really have much of an appetite. That's the only thing that it can tolerate is a little bit of fruit. So that's what I had. I had a little bit of fruit, um, so that I wasn't completely starving myself. I mean, I got a protein shake in there, but I just didn't really feel like a protein shake. But, um, anyway, I, I don't, I don't think that I'm starving myself because I do, uh, yesterday, John and I had, uh, uh, Smoothie King. We had Smoothie King. We normally would, would have probably went out to lunch or something after mailing all those packages, but I just really wasn't feeling up to eating. So we went and got us a Smoothie King. He said, Mama, you think you could find one of them smoothies without bananas in it? Because <laughs> I've been getting him one. Um, hold on. I've been getting him this one called Caribbean Way. And it has bananas in it. My boy don't like bananas. <laughs> I didn't realize how, how far his, his dislike of bananas went. But until he said said something. Because he's just a go with the flow kind of guy. And so he'd been drinking him. And not saying nothing. He didn't want to hurt my feelings, I guess. But yesterday he was like, um, reckon we could find one without bananas in it. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but we'll find one without bananas. So we did find one. I think they only have maybe one or two without bananas in it. And so we found him one without bananas and he was happy. He was happy. And so, but I, I, I like mine with bananas in it. I don't know that they put bananas in mine either, though. I get the uh, one called Slim and Trim Strawberry. They have, it's, the Slim and Trim comes in chocolate or strawberry. I get it in strawberry. But it's the only one they have that doesn't have sugar in it. And so, if you ever are near um, a Smoothie King and you're a person that can't have sugar, like me, <laughs> um, then asked them for the slim and trim and it comes in chocolate or strawberry and uh you you'd be safe that way you know because every pretty much everything else has sugar in it so um even though it's small amounts because it is a health food place you know it's for it's meant for healthiness you know uh but they do have additives they can put in there they got a fiber additive they got an immune booster they got an energy booster you know thing little powders that they can put in there, vitamin type powders that they can put in there. I've been a Smoothie King fan, Lord, since 97. <laughs> and they've been in business as long as I've been on this earth for 50 years, since 1973. They got it all over their wall. They got the history of their, their business on, on, on a story on the wall if you go in. They've been in business 50 years. And uh, it's wonderful. I really like Smoothie King. Because uh, when I first had my surgery and I and I finally got well enough to drive, that was pretty much all I went for. If we went out to, if I went out to treat myself, I didn't treat myself with food. I treated myself with a smoothie because I couldn't really just eat any solid food. I, all I could do is drink things. And so that's when I discovered the Slim and Trim, you know, without sugar in it. And I was like, every time we went out, Slim and Trim. <laughs> So that's definitely something I hit hit up when I'm not feeling like eating and and I want to you know still want to have a treat you know of some sort because it's not sweet but it's still it's still you know it has natural sweet sweetness to it because of the strawberries so um, but I enjoy it very much and um, I think smoothies are definitely a good way of getting your you know nutrition without you know overdoing it. Um, and I'll continue to do that. So, but anyway, um, I think that's about all I got for y'all today. Um, 
Hopefully, I'll have some, some sort of project done soon. Oh, no, that is not all. I just... Christine, Christine, is there... I did get uh, something that I ordered off of uh, Etsy. Oh. Christine, Christine. I think, does it say what... Uh, what her... Abrams. Okay. There's a channel. Uh, I'll have to look it up and put it in the description. Uh, the lady's name is Christine Abrams and, um, she has a brand new channel and I, and I had shouted her out on my uh, community page not too long ago. And then I realized she had an Etsy shop and, um, I went on her Etsy shop and I found something I wanted and it came in yesterday. And, um, so, uh, there was a card and uh, the card reads, uh, it's obviously hand printed off. Uh, she printed it off on her computer and said, God is her, God is within her. She will not fall. Psalm 46, 5. And then um, she writes in the, in the card, it says, Amanda, thank you for, for this is my first sale of the year. Please accept my gift in appreciation. Blessings, Christine. And then there's a Bible verse that reads, she is clothed with strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future proverbs 31 25 that uh <laughs> that verse brought brought a tear to my eye yesterday when i read it because it hit it just hit so close to my heart you know i need i think i needed to hear that verse yesterday but uh these are made with cotton um uh, and and i'm in the south so it gets really warm down here especially if you're trying to be fashionable <laughs> but uh there's there's this hat oh this is so pretty i don't i didn't ask i didn't look in the description to see what kind of stitch or whatever but uh it's really pretty i like the colors for some reason i i like I've, this year i've taken to neutral colors but it's got shades of gray and then that little kind of um i don't know kind of brownish or taupe I don't know, but it's, it's definitely a self-striping yarn, but it's cotton, and uh, it's so soft, and it's nice. It's nice. It don't have a smell um, at all, No, no, neither bad or good, so it's, it's nice. And there's that hat, and then there's another hat that came with it, too. Same similar stitch, but the hat's a bit different. Uh, one hat fits a little bit different. And I don't, I'm not in the frame of mind to mess up my hair, but I did try them on yesterday. <laughs> and then there's this beautiful scarf. And it sort of looks a little, it looks like, yeah, this is a like a corner to corner scarf. And so, um, and it's pretty long. I mean, it is definitely, I might wear this scarf with my, um, with my dress. It's so pretty. And then the the gift she included is this uh, bag. Isn't that nice? I, I was like, hmm. You know, we have farmer's markets here. This would be perfect to take to the farmer's market. I could fit some fresh uh, vegetables and stuff in here, fruits and vegetables, especially when they have fresh peaches. Peaches. <laughs> I love peaches, For especially fresh ones. There's a... Uh, there's a town uh, not too far from where Eva lives, my friend, my best friend Eva, and not too far from here uh, called Rustin, and they grow the best, some of the best peaches you ever had. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I can get my hands on some fresh peaches at the uh, farmer's market. But yeah, this it came from Christine, and I will link her channel and her Etsy in the description. And uh, y'all go check her out. She's got some beautiful things in her Etsy shop. Sorry, my bag's kind of going crazy over here, leaning. My bag of cotton over here. And then I also got something from Bangkok. <laughs> I'd never got anything from Bangkok before. But this came from Chris Loves Crochet. Um, and she is a, an American um, YouTuber that lives over there in Bangkok right now. She is a teacher over there. And she uh, is a beautiful stunning stunningly beautiful woman 
and a, a great crocheter and designer and, and uh, makes beautiful things. And so she sent a bunch, I, I know she sent one one of these and uh, I noticed I was watching Nancy over it. She's got yarn too. Um, I noticed she opened one and had one too. And when I saw this yesterday, I was like, really? Because the only person I knew in Bangkok was Chris. <laughs> I was like, what? Because <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, really? I didn't, I didn't think about that. I didn't, you know. Let's see here. If I could get all the little stuff in here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. But she's included some little stickers. And it's a Happy New Year 2024, and it has a little Chinese dragon. I'll stick those in here. Then it has this cute little card. And then, of course, the dragon pendant. I think I'm going to try to find me a chain to put that on. I really like it. It says he glows in the dark, so that'd be cool, right? But I think I'm going to try to find me a chain to put that on. I really like the dragon. And uh, her note says, Happy Chinese New Year, Tap Mama. May the year of the dragon bring you boundless happiness, good health, and the fulfillment of all your all your dreams. May your days be filled with warmth, love, and exciting crochet projects. Wishing you a tapestry of joy and prosperity in the coming year. Let the dragon spirit ignite your creativity and passion. And she's put something in Thai here. Warmest yarn hugs. Chris loves crochet and I'll put her in the description too because you should definitely go check her out because she has such the beautiful spirit, such a wonderful, warm and beautiful spirit she has. And I'm really glad to see her back. She took herself a little break and now she's back and I'm glad to see her back. And uh, I enjoy her videos very much. She's very creative. She's adopted herself a couple of little kitty cats to keep her company. And you can't go wrong with fur babies. Little black kitty cats. And um, so tickled to death to see her back in action. And uh, hopefully she manages to stick around. And um, totally understand her needing to take herself a, a mental break. Everybody needs to do that sometime. Me. I'm just me. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm missing in action, it's because I'm sick. <laughs> Is because I'm literally physically down. Yep, that's pretty much the case. Uh, so if you see two or three days between videos, that's because I'm physically just not up to st sitting here and talking to the camera. Um, and it's not because I don't want to. It's because I'm physically just unable to. Um, I don't have the um, the mental strength that everybody, you know, that some people do. Um, you know. Sometimes I just, I don't, I don't have it in me. So, um, but hopefully next month will be better. Um, when I get all healed up, I have my surgery Tuesday. I don't know what time I go in yet, Tuesday. They're going to call me Monday and tell me what time to be there. And, um, but, um, I'm hoping that the recovery is not that long. Um, I'm going to pre-record a bunch of devotionals so that I don't have to worry about that. I'll, I'll pre-record like a week's worth at least, like I did when I did my uh, when I had my gastric bypass. When I did that in November, um, I pre-recorded a week, like a week, a week and a half worth of uh, devotionals ahead of time, and uh, had all those uploaded, ready to go, um, and not and didn't have to worry about those. Um, so I'm, I'll probably do something similar um, with this, so that I don't have to worry about that, because uh, that's one thing rain or shine, I'm bleeding half to death or not, the devotional videos will definitely go up. <laughs> so that's one thing I will always do. Uh, no matter how rotten or crummy I feel, I will always do the devotional videos. Uh, if you look at the first part of this month, um, <laughs> I had to be admitted to the hospital. And even though I got out late the next day, uh, I still managed to come home. And that's like the first thing I did was record a devotional video. <laughs> Uh, I, I was really in in a rough shape, but I, it's it's it was it's a it's a mission, it's it's a promise I made, you know, in a, in a you know something that was laid on my heart a long time ago, 
And um, it's just, uh, I feel like it's just my calling to do that and I won't stop. So uh, even though, um, yeah, I've had my share of naysayers and people that told me that my channel would grow more and quicker if I stopped doing that, um, stop with the religious content. Well, sorry, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so uh, anyway, enough of that little soapbox business, right? Um, I hope y'all have a good evening. Um, hopefully I'll have something for you tomorrow, but I don't know. I, I don't know when, um, tomorrow, or, tomorrow's Thursday, tomorrow or Friday, I'll do another video and, um, hopefully I'll fill up to doing a live between now and Monday. I don't know. Hopefully I can get enough rest and fill up to doing something like that. I may have to take a, <laughs> take one of them crazy diet pills to, to fill up to doing something. Uh, I don't really want to do that, but if that's what it takes, I, I might have to. Um, but um, I'm just feeling very crummy, and because I'm uh, I've been without the antibiotics for all we, you know for the, the last several days, and I think they should have given me more antibiotics. Um, I think the infection came right back as soon as I was with, ran out of antibiotics. I think it came right back. So um, I'm pretty sure it it, it came right back. So, because the stones just keep triggering the, the the infection, they just keep triggering it. And um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Until they get them out of there, they're just going to keep doing it. Um, but uh, I don't want to keep whining. That's not my style. So, um, please know that I love you and so does Jesus. And please, of course, adopt, don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue, be it a doggy or a kitty cat. There's plenty that need homes. And remember, when you adopt a cat or a dog, you're not just saving their life. You're saving the life of the one that takes their place at the shelter as well. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.